Hello and welcome. How are you doing today, my friend? Today I am planning to show you that how to use these Dremel accessories. And I have in here great set of these things and I recommend to you that if you have Dremel multi-tool that you also purchase that kind of set because then you can get a lot of these good stuff and things. And next I like to show you that how to use this this one of those Dremels most most common and very useful part what name is this Dremel cut of field number 409 and it's that this kind of set and when I open that set there is this cap this is full of there is 36 pieces of this cutting disc and next I like to show you that how this disc works and how we can how we set up this disc because here I have one ready disc in here and I saw that when I take that away that what happens there is a risk that if I am too hard and I press that disc in that way it goes broken this is only thing what we need to remember that if we use too much force then this disc can be broken but it is not not the issue because there is another solution that we can insert this disc in like two pieces in here and maybe even more like I think that even three pieces together and then we have more solid structure and this uh, this is like nice package package okay but normally we use only one disc and this is for cutting and what we can cut with that tool I have here two excellent examples I have here pencil what is wooden this is really easy to cut like we can cut wooden things and then also plastic this red red material is plastic and then there is this possibility to cut steel and parts and it's also very useful and next I will show to you that how to cut all of these three things also but first first step is to load this uh, this disc and and there is always in Dremel tool this kind of this uh, this core drill very small cross head in there in cent central area and for that we need for that flat screwdriver that I can insert that part in here and then I can rotate that and now this seems to be quite tight because I have tight that and for that reason it's good to use tongs that I can insert that metallic bike in, in here this bolt and then when I press in my hand and then I say same time I rotate that rotate that central bolt in this way it opens easily in here okay and then I rotate a little bit as soon this screw is away okay and there is this small screw in my hand and then I insert that screw in there and I throw these bad particles away and I take I take my new disc now there is only one disc and I insert that in here and there is idea that that there is hole in this central position and this hole goes in that hole against that 
and then when they are in same line like in here it's easy to drop this small screw what I have in my hand in in the central position and this is this is very high quality screw this is not not any Chinese brand or quality this is almost like Toyota parts quality this works so easily because normally Toyota's parts they moves so nicely and this Toyota's material are so outstanding steel that they are so durable okay and now now it's it's fell and in that cut so must be so that when I take my fingers in here and then when I rotate that disc this screw must be in in fasten it if, if that screw moves different way than this disc then we must to have to fasten and tighten this central screw more but now this is nice and I, I can I can start my job and I can show that that how to cut this part and then I think that I can also cut in that area in plastic and also one steel and thing I I I try to found find some steel and to cut and we continue soon. Okay and now I have all of my things what I can cut. This is like steel and iron metallic plate what is very easy to cut and then there is also possibility to cut some bolt like in that bolt in here it is also a possibility but now I will cut that in here and here and then plastic and then this wooden wooden stick also and first I insert that my cutting disc in here and then I fasten that and this must be in fasten and then always use protective eye glasses because this disc moves so fast that there is message that that we can we can lost our eyes there is eyes and and also bread should be that's right now I don't have this bread no no any bread protection but I have this air air hearing protection okay and then I start this machine and I I start to cut these things okay and first I cut that part and first I turn on this my machine Okay, and there happened common issue that when I cut that my steel and plate there happens vibration and that my disc goes broken. Okay, and actually this was good test because that's that's the good you could use that kind of glasses because sometimes that part can be fly like 100 miles in that direction and could you believe what that kind of sharp thing makes it is it hits my or your eye okay and that's that means that now I have to improve that my cutting disc abilities and now I insert in here I have this number 4 Zero 09 disc and now I insert in here two disc and it's like double double this uh, strength it's like it is like those bullet proof west when we insert in there more more Kevlar plates then they resist more those 
bullets. It's same idea, and then I take that my my screw away. Okay, and so on this my screw is away, and then then I insert here those two two those disc. There is this my one, and now I do so that I insert this in here, and there is my screw, and it goes in in here central. In that way, and then I only target this my hole in here, and then I fasten that. Easy, easy like easy thing to do, and then fastening, and 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 he in here, do not fasten too much because that plate can be broken. It's okay now. It's good. And then I inserted my plate in here, and now there is a like double disc. And then, of course, this to my head, and a new cutting in here. Okay, good. Okay, good. And what now happens? This my disc are okay, and this steel plate is cut, and there was actually more thicker this cutting line because there is now two discs to get her, and it but no any disc fibers. And then I like to show that how I can like cut this my wooden pencil. And it happens also easily. Okay, and this cutting works also fine. And there was one mistake what I made when I kept that pencil in here. There was small risk that when this takes this Dremel vibration that it hits to my hand. And that's it's always the good keep hand away in this cutting line that we cut something like that. That no no in that way. Or in that way that it, when I press that it hits in here and then I have in here blood and cut in here. Okay, but I was lucky. Sorry that my mistake. And then this final part is that if we like to cut plastic, plastic, I like to now a little bit modify this my uh, screwdriver and this is actually really poor quality driver and that's I like to cut that a little bit. And now I do so that that I cut that in here that's that kind of cutting and then I rotate that little bit that I can cut that nicely in something like in I, I do my markings in here. That in this this way. Okay and I I do like this red area shorter. Okay, let's look what what happens.
Okay, good. And now this plastic part is away and my screwdriver is shorter. Okay, and this was this idea that how to use this Dremel accessory number 409 and that this kind of set cost something like 5 US dollars per piece and this this box and as we can see my discs are in well shape and I can use those again okay and this was this video and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you okay and I continue my job Okay, cool.